eating healthy, organic, plant-based is super expensive, think again. I have a dollar bill in my hand and I've created a recipe for you today which is just one dollar a head. everybody in case you don't know me it is Sophie here and today like I said I am going to show you how to create a really healthy recipe for just one dollar a head but first off I want to tell you something very exciting this video is special because it is a collab I am collaborating with the healthy grocery girl Megan Roosevelt and we have a really cool theme. So our theme is four for four, meaning that we are both creating a dinner for four people for under four dollars. So I'm really excited. Megan is amazing. I, you're going to just love what she's created and she has a fantastic channel. She's a dietitian, lots of healthy recipes. So let's get going. I'm going to show you what my four for four is right now. So here are the ingredients that we're using that come to $3.98. So what I'm making is a delicious risotto and I've cheated so that you can do it really, really quickly because one thing is budget friendly cooking, but another thing is time friendly cooking. So I'm all about food prep and as I talk you through the ingredients, I'm going to tell you how I prepped ahead of time. So one of the ingredients i'll just use a little bit is a little bit of uh, veggie stock and for that i always use a bouillon cube low sodium because it's so inexpensive now i have cilantro here that was almost one of the most expensive things that i got because it's organic i have and that's going to give the dish this incredible flavor i've got zucchini I have got uh, brown mushrooms. You could use any kind of mushroom will work for this. Now I have here uh, uh, two cups, just over two cups of brown rice. And this is a big um, food prep hack is that I always make my rice ahead of time and I freeze it. So I cook it in my instant pot, um, freeze however much I'm gonna need for the week and I'm done. So this is my rice that's thawed out. Then I have half a large yellow onion chopped. Again, food prep hack because I hate cutting onions is I just get all my onions on a weekend. I chop them up. I put them in these little individual glass containers. I freeze them and then I take it out when I'm ready to use. And then because I want every dish that I'm cooking for my family to have protein in it, it's got to have some good protein in there. I'm using mung beans, very inexpensive. It's about half a cup there, just under half a cup and quick cooking. And I have some condiments here. I'm not including those in my final cost because I have those anyway. And then I, as I said before, I like to use my um, instant pot here. This is a real game changer for me for saving time. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do here is take the mung beans and I am going to cook those. So I'm taking my mung beans, just popping them in a saucepan with some water and kind of covering them with water. I love mung beans because they cook really quickly and they have they impart, they have a lot of protein in them, um, but it's a very easily digestible kind of protein. So, oh, wrong one. So unlike um, a lot of beans that some people find hard to digest, you should be fine with mung beans and they are going to take less than 10 minutes. So I'm gonna leave those to do their thing. Okay, so uh, while my mung beans are um, cooking, I'm just going to just gently chop the vegetables. I've removed the stalks of the mushrooms and um, I keep the skin on. Um, I clean them with a mushroom brush because I don't want them to get soggy um, from uh, washing them. 
and I'm not slicing them. In this particular recipe, I prefer them to be in little tiny cubes. Now for cilantro. Now, if you hated cilantro, people either love it or hate it, you could use flat leaf parsley or basil and or basil instead, basil if you're in England. So it's totally up to you, but I just love the taste of cilantro or, um, you know, in whatever fresh herbs, but cilantro is really good in this particular dish. So what I'm doing is I'm just separating off some of them just for garnishing it to make it look pretty on the top. But the rest of them, I'm just going to remove the stalks to make this really, really easy. And then, oop, there's a stray stalk. And then I am going to um, cut them like this. It doesn't matter if you get a few stalks in of the cilantro, it really doesn't. Just make sure that it's, you know, roughly chopped like so. Oh my gosh, already it smells so, so good. All right. Okay, so I'm just, I've heated up a large skillet and I'm just gonna pop in, um, this is about a tablespoon of um, cooking oil. This is expeller pressed um, sunflower oil. Um, so when I'm cooking, I always like to use expeller pressed oils. I never use olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, um, because you're just, it's a, it's a waste. You're using that precious oil and heating it just causes all the goodness to degrade. Uh, what you could do if you're oil free is just use a little bit of veggie broth in place of the oil. So that's my, that's my, that's generally how I roll. Um, so here's my onion going in. We are going to let these cook um, until they uh, get this very, very slightly caramelized. So a little more than I will usually cook um, onion for. Okay, so they're just beginning to caramelize now. The smell is delicious. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, all my zucchini and my mushrooms. Just dump them in there. And the thing that I like about mushrooms is that mushrooms actually, when you saute them, when you fry them, they release uh, water. So when you first start off, it might look a little dry, the mixture, but uh, they are gonna release that water. Now for some tasty condiments here. First thing I'm gonna add is some tamari sauce. Uh, this is gluten-free soy sauce, and I get the one that has less sodium in it. So I'm gonna pop in there uh, a good couple of tablespoons. It gives it a slight saltiness, which I like, but it also imparts a really good flavor. Now the other thing that I'm adding is, and this is optional, is liquid aminos. Uh, it says it's a natural soy sauce alternative. It's, um, it's from soy protein, um, and it just gives everything a really, really delicious flavor. And it has protein in it and aminos and everything. So I'll just probably put in, I don't know, about a tablespoon in there. I'm just turn up the heat a little bit here. And then I'm going to gently fry this delicious mixture for about two minutes. You want everything to cook through, but you still want the zucchini to be a little bit crisp. You don't want everything becoming mushy. It's around about two minutes. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble the mushroom. Um, mixture is all ready to go. So I've got my brown rice and I am going to just literally dump it in the pan. 
And it goes. Plenty there for four people. And I am going to dump in my uh, mung beans that are all ready to go. Giving us all that lovely protein. And then all I'm going to do now is gently fold in um, the rice stuck together a little bit because it's been cooling. But I'm going to fold all the uh, beautiful vegetables in to this mixture. And the other thing that I am going to do right now is add my cilantro. And it really is the herbs that make this dish. They just give it this wonderful flavor. And, you know, that's how you're getting your greens. So in this dish, you've got your green, microgreens actually, is what herbs are. You've got your greens, you've got mushrooms that are so healthy, the beta-glucans in mushrooms for immunity. You know, being a nutritionist, all this is, is, is how I view every single uh, ingredient that I put in a dish. You've got a healthy, a complex carbs with the brown rice and the um, zucchini, you know, to fill you up. And you've got the mung beans to give you a punch of easily digestible, clean plant protein. I mean, this could not be more delicious. Now, what I want to give you a little tip for at the end is if you are not oil free, I know some people enjoy oil, oil free food and you would just eat as is here. But if you're not, I would recommend once you've um, finished blending here, you are going to turn the heat off and then you are going to add some um, olive oil and I have extra virgin organic olive oil and I only use it for finishing a dish and it just makes this dish so so delicious and you're not heating it so the flavor and the nutrients um, are going to be retained and also a healthy fat if it's uncooked will also help your body to absorb the nutrients in the greens that's why I always like to pair a healthy oil with my greens So that is it. It is so delicious. And there is plenty for four. I'm actually looking at the pan and going, we're gonna have some over. And the great thing is that if you have some over, just keep it in the fridge and you can have it for lunch the next day. It's really easily portable. You can just put it in a little container and take it with you for the day. So check out, do not forget to check out, Megan, Healthy Grocery Girl. Check out her four for four recipe. It's delicious. I know you're absolutely going to love it. And also leave me comments below this video. What do you think of this new four for four series that I've got going? I just love that healthy eating honestly doesn't have to be expensive. I was raised with a really frugal mother and she's taught me one or two things over the years and one of those things is to not waste anything and to create dinners every night of the week that cost really way less than five dollars but as you can see I'm trying to do it for four dollars one dollar a head and one little thing I wanted to add in there is that I live in Los Angeles and food is very expensive in Los Angeles. It's more expensive than England and it's more expensive than most other states um, in, in the US. So if I can do it for one dollar a head, I think that you will be able to easily do it for the same. So make sure you subscribe so that you can get all the videos in this four for four series and all the other budget friendly, healthy recipes that I've got in store for you. See you next time. Mm -mm -mm. That's the thing about shooting healthy eating videos. I have all this food around me and I just eat and eat and eat and it's so good.